Hello, good evening, Brenda, Freddy's, Marigenia, Blanca, and Janati. Good evening, teacher. How are you feeling today? Pretty good. Pretty good. Better than yesterday? The same as yesterday? Not Friday. as good as yesterday? Yesterday, I feel like I was kind of stutter at speaking. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so I think okay. I'm better right now. Yeah, I don't know why, but that's a strange phenomenon yeah. that happens sometimes. Okay, uh, Blanca, Gennady, Brenda, can you hear me? Lady D, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Yes, Hi. I can hear you. Okay, so how is it going? How, how was your day? Ladies, Freddy's already talked. <laughs> Sorry, I connect my earphones and, <laughs> and I don't listen what you say just right now. No, I asked you, how was your day? Uh, it was a less tired than yesterday. And that's the reason why I feel bad yesterday because I feel tired. And because of that, I, I felt with body ache and a little of fever. Mm -hmm. And I fell asleep because I, I felt so bad. And I have to fall asleep because I don't I don't I don't know how to say that. But I don't well, I don't feel you really didn't good. you didn't feel well. I, I yeah, I didn't feel I didn't feel well. Yeah. Yeah, and in this morning I I felt with body ache, but I don't, I didn't have fever. So that's a progress. True, true. That's, that's something good. Yeah, there are some days that, I mean, it's, you feel strange, but you don't know why, right? It happens. Yeah, but I, I think that it was because well, it was because my day was too heavy, too hard. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, my body felt all the, the pressure, <laughs> I think. Yeah. Good evening. Hello, good evening for you. Welcome. How are you today? Fine. Not too tired yet. <laughs> Not too tired yet so maybe by the end of the class it will be tired <laughs> okay um uh, let me check it's raining here again so if you hear a, a little bit of noise it's because of that hey roxana juan jose welcome Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I got your message, Gustavo. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, so we're getting ready. Uh, remember that today we're going to listen to everybody, uh, at least one member of each group, right? Share the information about their product. Okay, so that is uh, one of the first activities that we're going to have. Today is Talking Tuesday. That means that you're going to practice a lot of speaking, okay, hopefully. We're going to have a lot of opportunities to 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 talk to other people, and um, 
What else? Basically that, right? So focus a little bit on pronunciation and then a little bit more on um, vocabulary and some tips, okay, about, about speaking that can help you to get better. Okay, let's get started. Francisco and Flor, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. If you had to select one emoji to say how you're feeling today, which emoji would you use? Uh, maybe you select it. Yeah. In my case, it will be this one. Then I surprised. Surprised <laughs> okay. so because like, they don't have more options. Uh, okay. Just okay. claps, thumbs up, heart, laughing, and surprise and celebration. Okay. So, uh, Roxana is a little sleepy. Fabio is good. And Francisco is a little bit, I don't know, he was tired, maybe? Mm, yes, because, <coughs> sorry. Uh -huh. I, I do not know uh, why, <coughs> maybe it's the weather, but my, how do you say, garganta? Throat. 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 Uh, it's a little sore. sad or bad. Flow. It's a little sore. It's a little sore. Okay, yeah. Actually, uh, if you say dolor de garganta, you say uh -huh. sore throat. Oh, sore throat. Okay, I, I, I think that this because all day is raining. Oh. That's the reason why, probably. Good evening. Hello, good evening, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Hi, Jackie, Harvin, and Diego. How is it going? Hi, hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Good evening, everything is fine. Okay, I'm glad to know that. Okay, so let's take the attendance so to start with the session. Uh, Beatriz, not here yet. Mariela, maybe you can have a cup of tea, Francisco, that can help you or some candy, like these ones I use. Um, mm. I take this when I have a, some sore throat because I obviously I speak a lot. So they're called gargantinas. They help me. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, for the dinner, I, I drink a, a tea or how do you say it? Maybe manzanilla. Chamomile. With, uh -huh, with whole. Chamomile tea. Mm -hmm. Got it. Chamomile. Chamomile. Yeah, chamomile. Oh. Chamomile. Honey and lemon. Okay, yes, that's a good combination, honey and lemon. Uh, okay, let's check. Brenda, Diana, Blanca. Present. Okay. Present. Diego. Present. Uh, Floor. I'm here. Are you home today? I just arrived in teacher. You're just arriving. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Got it. Let's go on with Francisco. 
Ready? Present teacher. I'm here, teacher. Laura. Not here. Jackie. I'm here. Marvin. Present teacher. Jennifer. Juan Jose. I'm here. Gustavo is still working, but he's there with us. Maria Eugenia, the same. Miguel Angel. Miguel, hello. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Fabio. I'm here. You reminded me of Fabio Canavaro right now. Rolando. Hello, hello. Hi, Mr. Yanari. I'm here, teacher. Okay, great. And Roxana. Present, teacher. Hi, welcome again. So we're ready to start. And as you remember, okay, one of the first things that we're going to do today is to speak. <clears throat> And um and share, okay, share with each other. Hey Jennifer, you're there. Yes, teacher, I'm here. Okay. Good to have you here. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, welcome. Good evening. Thanks, teacher. So um as it is talking Tuesday, we're going to start by talking, okay. So in this case, uh, we're going to focus on a topic that it's really common, okay, for, for everybody. And it's important to, because they say that they are the family that we choose. What, who am I talking about? The family that we choose. Friends. Friends. Friends, exactly. Um, and Friends is also one of the most famous sitcoms, right? In, in history, of in the TV history. I mean the sitcom with um, six friends. Are you, raise your hand if you are familiarized with Friends, the sitcom. Situation comedy on TV. Blanca knows about friends. Who else? Fabio. Who else likes friends? Okay. Uh, only two people. Ah, Roxana too. So there were six friends, right? That's a, a really nice sitcom that you can watch in order to practice some English because it's everyday English. Uh, they are in different scenarios, talking about different topics, uh, and it's really nice. I think it's one of the best shows that you can watch in TV, uh, in English, in English, that will be better. Okay, so, uh, I'm going to send this, the link through the chat so that you can um, open it, right? And when I send you to the breakout rooms, you can practice with your partner. So in this case, we're going to be practicing with in groups of three. Okay. So I'm just going to create. Six. I think six or five would be okay. Let me check. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Okay, very good. So, uh, I'm going to add a room so we have more people talking. Let me check. I'm going to send you to the room number six. And one, two, three here. Okay, I'm not sure if Brenda is here. Oh, 
Okay, here we go. So right now you're going to have six, maximum seven minutes for the conversation. You ask the questions that you like, right? You can open the link that is in the chat and um, here we go. Identification. Hey, Laura, can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Be careful, please. I see that you're driving. So yes, thank you. As soon as you get home, you can uh, join us, okay? I'm going okay. to send you to a breakout room just in case you want to listen to your classes, but you don't have to speak, okay? You have to focus on the, on the road. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Hello, welcome Beatrice. Welcome teacher, good evening. Good evening, I'm going to send you to a breakout room right now. You can accept the invitation. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, teacher. Oh, we need the, the we need link. the link. Ah, teacher, can you uh -huh. share the link, teacher, please? Please. Sure. sure. I'm in other group and I don't know what happened and now I'm here. Okay, maybe there was a little magician moving you to another room. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there you have the link. Thank you. You're welcome. It's one dollar. Uh, okay, Anna, Anna, please pay him. <laughs> no, it's a tip. Okay, okay, got it. Go ahead. I, I, I share, I share the screen. Can you see the question? Uh, how many people do you consider your best friend, Rolando? Um, work. Um, okay. the Sunday, uh, sorry, uh, Saturday uh, is common that need to to get my work maybe uh, seven a.m. to four p.m. Um, only have a free Sunday. Okay, but I ask you if you can describe a close. Friend. You can make a description of a close friend that you have. Uh -huh. About the characteristics and the personality. Yes, but um, or maybe someone I, I, that welcome to the breakout room number five. Francisco and Jennifer were alone, so <laughs> thank you. Good group. evening. Okay, good evening. And I know you're very Hi, close Jackie. to Jennifer, so you can be here. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Hi, your, friend, nice to your virtual you. friend. <laughs> <laughs> he died. He did. He uh, so died. I don't have a friend. Yes, yes. He oh, yes, he did. Sorry about yeah. that. So, okay. Yes, yeah, thank you. So, he was my best friend. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, Jarvin, make a question. Um, um, I, 
se me hace fácil, ¿cómo se dice? It's easy for you. It's easy uh, for me, uh -huh. It's easy for me uh, to... to meet in, in, in begin the conversation uh, uh -huh. with a new person. Okay, so you are a sociable person, a friendly yes. person, nice. Okay, it's my turn to, to ask you something. Oh. Uh, what do you usually do with your friends? Freddy's, Diego, and Miguel. Uh, I don't know how to... You have many know years them. and... Before Very well, rest. exactly. Yes, for example, I have a friend since I was in the kindergarten, uh, we try to, to send messages every day, try to talk a little, and she's my best friend because we know a lot of things about each other. We help each other, and it is, it's a strong friendship. But I consider that we can make friends everywhere. For yeah, example, I, I consider that you are friends, virtual I, friends, as the, as the teacher say. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. I consider that too because you are so nice person and friendly. No, thank you. And even when thank I you. don't know you in a personal way, I consider that you're a really good person. And it's a nice to talk mm -hmm. with you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. It's a pleasure to me, Jennifer, to to, to you with Francisco and another okay. other partners. Yeah, teacher, will you be with us the next model? Please say, Jack. Uh, <laughs> not sure. Why I don't not, think so. Teacher? Why not? Because <laughs> uh, teachers are rotating. Um, so, hmm. yeah. But I will be there through. Um, uh, I don't know, virtually they're present. <laughs> Do you think that so you can send me a message, when, ask me questions? If you if you are not in the next model with us, it's possible to have you in future models. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay. Today we I received the, the message for yeah. the next Mm -hmm. I get the, the message for the next ah, okay. hour. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we need to, to do the, the letter. Maybe require the, the, the teacher. Uh, yeah. I, mm. I like the way you work, teacher, because you are all the time doing different activities to have our, our attention. Mm -hmm. And that is something really good because I have studied English before with different teacher coaches or in different academies, but it's not that common to have a teacher who is really interesting in their students. Oh, exactly. that's so nice. I agree Thank with you. Jennifer. I agree with yeah. Jennifer. Yeah, you, because really I, I, Me too. It's, it's not good to talk um, bad about someone who is not here, but in the last model with the last teacher, we didn't have any different activities like you do every day or every week. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yeah, everybody has different approaches, different methodologies, I think. 
in yeah. some occasion I say that uh, is the with this mall is my second opportunity that I have uh, English class, but I like the the, the method. Method. The method. Metal that 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 the teacher use uh, uh the the my little nose to English is only when I go to the public school. Ah, how do you say bachillerato? High school. Um, high school. Um, high, high school. school and the, <laughs> um, and the. Yes, um, but it's it's very very good. The the the, the time is little is is no enough. But yeah, the, and the class pass so fast sometimes. Yes, the, the, but most of the day. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it has it has to be boring. <laughs> yeah, no, it's yeah. not boring. Sometimes. I, Sometimes there, there, there is more to do. I, I know, yeah. Yeah, or are some topics are confused to me? Yeah, they're confusing or they're a little I bit more know that because I ask you and ask you and ask you many times. Yeah. No, but that's okay. The more you ask, the more you learn. I love questions. <laughs> okay, thank okay, you. Okay, no, so thank you. Teacher. Thank you. I really appreciate your work. You are the the one teacher in a million, no Emilio. <laughs> no Emilio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so kind. Thank you so much. See you in the main See session. See you there, teacher. Bye. -bye. Okay. All right. So, did everybody have the chance to speak? or to ask a question or to answer a question about friends, friends or friendship? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay, so which question was your one of your favorite ones? Anybody who wants to share? One question that you liked a lot. Or one Maybe answer, no, or one answer, one I, one I answer like that you liked. Uh -huh. But, mm, the most interesting mm -hmm, the most is interesting. if it's easy to me to make friends. And the answer is? For me, no. No, because I'm a really friendly person, but it doesn't mean that it's really easy to me to make a real friend. I'm very ah. special in that cases. You are, <laughs> you are people. I think like you, Brenda, Diana. Yeah. yeah. It's the same. Brendiana. <laughs> Brendiana. What's that? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, Rolando. It's a fusion. It's a fusion. Oh. That's correct. <laughs> okay. Brenda is smiling, I think. I bet. I'm, I'm, not sure if, I'm not sure if she can use a microphone, but yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, under you understood. She's Lady D. <laughs> okay, so uh, it, it's, it's like my... if I say Roland Cisco, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're we're going to go on. That's funny. Um, <laughs> we're going to go on and um Yes, I mean, uh, this is something really interesting. Probably we would need more time to practice or to speak about it. But in general, uh, with the with this new reality, with this uh, virtuality, we have realized that making friends uh, in a virtual environment is possible. And um, it's a different perspective, right? Because in the past it was like, mm, I don't know this person. But now that we see each other every day, I think that somehow you feel identified or familiarized with some of your classmates and probably you're going to keep in touch with some of them right after you finish all the, the modules. So 
who knows, right? You're going to be contacting Floor whenever you want to travel. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, so yeah, I mean, uh, it is possible, but it's not so easy as, as Diana said, right? Now, uh, the good thing is that we're meeting more people and from different parts of El Salvador. That's surprising without the pandemic, we probably had never met. Uh, me being in San Miguel, you being in Sonsonate, in Acajutla, right, in different places, it wouldn't have been possible. So it's great to have this experience and to have this kind of friendship because there are all kinds of friendship, right? We have close friends, we have soul friends, we have uh, uh, temporary friends, we have uh, seasonal friends, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Just friends to hang out. And... I have K-pop friends. You have K-pop friends, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to move on and as uh, I told you yesterday, today you're going to share with us what your group has been working on. So I'm going to give you the 10 minutes that I promised for you to finish working with your team and have the forms or the survey ready so that you can share it with the class. Okay, so 10 minutes, then we come back. Choose one or two people from your team to present information, including the, the some questions, right? Just to show the questions and then you are going to share the link through the chat so everybody is going to open the link everybody that is not in your group right in your team is going to open the link answer the survey you're going to get the results and later you can share with us if you have all the the, the information right so um i'm going to start asking again <laughs> So in the room number one, we're going to have the quaternarian ammonia with fragrances. You need to think about a different name if you want this product to be real, because it's kind of long. <laughs> okay, uh, so Rolando, you are Martina. in that team. Uh, Mariela, I think. Yes. Who else? Harvey, Brenda, Harvin, Jennifer. Brenda, and Jennifer. Is you not in your group? No, in your team? No, right? No. Okay, team two, find your pet. That is Blanca's group. We also have uh, Fabio, I think. Diana, Francisco, and Juan Jose. Diana, Francisco, Juan Jose. Is Fabio there? And me, oh. teacher. No. No. Miguel. Miguel, yes. Okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, Miguel, me, Miguel, me. too. Okay, okay, perfect. And then room three, we're going to have the pet lovers. Oh yeah, here is- uh, That's Fabio. Fabio. Mm -hmm. Yanari. Sana. Who else? Yeah. Jackie. Jackie. Freddy's. Roxana. Freddy's. Uh, Roxana. That's it. And that's it, okay, perfect. So now you have more team members. You are not alone, you see? Uh, and then the room four okay. is going to be the sunshines. So we're going to have Floor, uh, Beatriz, Diego, Gustavo. Hi, I'm Laura. Here. Do you remember in which team you were? Uh, con Rolando. With Rolando, okay. So I'm going to send you there. Um, I guess that we're good here. So uh, Rolando, Rolando, that would be the team number one. I'm going to send you there, Diego. Okay, okay. perfect. So we're ready. And your 10 minutes begin as soon as you enter the breakout room. Okay, remember you are going to finish your questionnaire with the 10 to 12 questions about your product, considering the tips that we were reading yesterday and uh, make sure to have everything in one page or in one document, right? In one presentation so that when we come back, you can, you, you can present that to the class. 
Do you have any questions? Nope. So yeah. one person in the team is going to have the control of the forms, right? So you will share the link with the with everybody when we come back. So ready, set, and go. If you need help, don't forget that you can ask, you can call me, right? I'll be there. Like El Chapulín Colorado. Okay, let's check. Perfect. Everybody's going to the rooms. Beatriz, Flor, Laura, uh, Gustavo, and Elizabeth, we are missing you in the team four, in the room four. Brenda, the same. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Flor is, hello, Flor is going to, to share the, the questions that, ah, okay. the, that we did yesterday. Okay, excellent. Peter, Gustavo is not here, right? I think he's working. So he told me that he was going to be a little bit difficult for him to participate, but... Okay. Yeah. But you can include him in, in, the, <laughs> in the team. Okay. I'm looking for the question, Patrick. Okay, yeah. don't worry. Be happy. <laughs> be happy Laura are you home or you're still driving I guess she's still driving no she's she's here okay okay Okay. Then how, how often do you sanitize the place? Uh huh. Number then four I, is. Do you I, know? Uh, do you know what are the procedures? No. And use of quartz Maria ammonium. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Then. <laughs> On um, what surface can be used the quaternary ammonium? Uh -huh. Will you use quaternary ammonium? What difference would you like to use? And what price would you would be acceptable or affordable for you? And what size would you be would you be interested in? Yeah, I you can other two ones. Once, uh, Jenny. Yeah, uh, give ones. me the. Yeah, give me the question. No, no. In the size, what size would you be interested in? A liter. Other uh, option. Yeah, another yeah. option. Uh, but what is the other option? Two ohms. Ohms. Two ounces. Uh -huh. How do you spell? Let me see. Yeah, I don't remember. Um, 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 work. This work. This work. This work. This. And the questionnaire that the questionnaire I send through the chat. So yeah, we I, are I, one. Hey, two, I three. already see. Cinco. We have Five. 12 questions. Yeah. Uh, 
one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have to present one answer per, per each. Uh, so take your question. These are the questions. One, two, three, four, and the questionnaire. Who's the first volunteer? The number of focus groups. Mm -hmm. we, uh, what? Uh, I'm asking if the, who wants to present the number the number one, the question in I the want to present the location. The location, okay. Um, is the, the number three and the number one and two? Francisco, Juan Jose, Miguel. Where are I'm the I'm gonna take the type of test. Mm -hmm. So, um, the number one, two, and five, you can take. Where is the answer for the number, the number one, sorry? The number one, the number of, fo of focus groups. How many focus groups we, yeah, we decide to make? What is the answer? The first one in this case uh, is the type of sample that is suitable for the product. The type of sample suitable for the product. That's suitable. the number one. Yeah, that's the first one. You're going to mention which type of sample is the, the most appropriate. So you we studied two, targeted sample and random sample, remember? It's targeted, oh. but the type of test is, is the same, targeted. No. Oh, so I got confused. Yeah, because I, in the type of test, remember that we have the side and handling, we have the, the monatic. use, we have uh, side and handling, use, the monadic is a method. Oh, it's not a type of test. We have the branded test and the pair pair comparison test. I think branded and blind test mm. too. Uh huh. So those are the type of tests that we have. So. Remember that uh, you will do that in the place. So the people are going to test the product there. Okay. So what kind of test? Branded, blind, blind. Uh-huh, blind. We have um, the sight and handling and we have the use test. The use test. And the per comparison, I think that was the other one. Okay, I think that, that, that the, it would be in the manual. The use okay. test. The use test, yeah. I agree with you. That is, uh, yeah, exercise six, unit two, side and handling, use test, branded test, blind test. Ah, we have use. the branded one. Uh -huh. And we have the per comparison test. Use test, use test. Okay, so the type of sample is target, targeted. Uh, so someone is going to present two questions. Well, the type of sample, it will be targeted, but the number of focus group. Mm -hmm. We decide three. Um, three? Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, the number okay. of participants per group, six. The location, okay. Bicentenario, because it's a park. And the type of test, yeah. use test, and the number of items in the questionnaires, I already 12. send it to, mm -hmm. yeah, to, to the show. So mm -hmm. yeah, the only thing we, we need is to organize who is going to present each question and answer. Okay. We have to In the, okay, so let's think about that so, so that people can, can respond to some of the question. Exactly. exactly. I have Tell an me. idea. I send you the, on, on WhatsApp the features. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to check. Uh, 
online. Guys, what, something, 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 that, something that um, your classmates were discussing uh, is that, well, they were considering dividing the different parts of the of the presentation so that everybody can have a chance to, to speak. So that's just an idea that you might consider, right? So you can have more than, I mean, you can have everybody in the team presenting something if you wish, right? Because we have different yes. points. So that's just an idea that uh, another group had. So I'm sharing it with you in case you want to do the same. Okay, uh, okay. I have a question. Uh, the presentation will start from this, right? Uh, from, the from the type of, of test. Sample. Type of, okay. type of sample, yeah, exactly. Type of sample. Correct. Okay. But it's not bad if we have uh, all the information together no, no, no. or we have it's some, it's because not it's not a problem. Okay. Yeah. Okay. As long oh. as you don't get confused, that's okay. Okay. Uh, expediente medico online med medical file. Medical. File oh, or file. record. Record, I think that would be the, the, the word. Yeah, okay. Fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the option would be supermarket, the store, uh, uh -huh. uh, pharmacy, supermarket. Um, uh, pharmacy. 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 Maybe a gas station. Uh, guys, oh, yeah. uh, something that uh, one of the group uh, is planning to do so that everybody participate is to assign in the presentation a one point per person, per member, so that everybody can speak. So you can consider that as an option. Because we have around five or six points in the presentation. We, we first of all, we... I, we share, I don't we share. Care, teacher. Okay, we have, you're going to share all the information, right? The first thing that you're going to share is a type of sample. Uh, right. Second is the number of focus groups. Third, the number of participants per group. The location, the type of test. Ah, the, 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 first, the first information. Uh-huh, exactly. Ah, uh, we have to... You have the option of dividing the information so that everybody can to speak present a little bit, in right? the main session. Yeah, in the main session, exactly. Okay, thanks, teacher. Just an idea, it's optional. But if you want to have just one or two people presenting everything, that's okay. No, we think, I think that it would be good that we share together mm -hmm. a little bit. A little bit, but exactly. I, but I don't know what you think, guys. Grocery store. Grocery store. Peter, a grocery store is a different than a retail store. Yeah, it's different. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yourself. In the answer could be gardening, gardening expert. Okay. Gardening what? Expert. Experts. Expert. Yeah, gardening experts. What about the gardening experts? What are they going to do? No, no, no. The we, we are thinking the question could be, would you consider yourself? And the answer could be gardening expert, gardening enthusiast, weekend gardener, or mm. not a gardener. Okay. Yes, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it could work. Yeah, everybody has a different opinion about that. Okay. 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 And the next one could be how many house plants? That's it. How many house plants you own in your house? Okay. Mm, maybe you can just 
ask how many plants do you have? Do you have? Do you have? Uh -huh. Okay. And over there, maybe you can use uh, ranges. Ranges. One to five. Six to ten. Five. More than ten. Okay. If it is, uh, if you give the options, but if it's going to be a short answer, people can write whatever they they want to say. Number. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Teacher, and we can, do you know if we can make the, the survey, how, how you say, from our cell phone? It's yeah, possible. It is possible, yes. It's pretty and easy. How? I mean, to answer or to create the survey? To create the survey. Um, yeah, it is possible, but it takes a little more time if you do it that way. Maybe, it's, it depends on the cell phone, right? If it's a big cell phone, probably you see it well and you don't have any inconveniences. But it's from Gmail account. Yeah. Mm. Because I was trying, but <clears throat> I don't know. Where. But if you use another app for the survey, that's okay. As long as people can access, no problem. Okay. Okay, I'm going to look for other. Um, we have two more minutes. No! Yes! <laughs> so do you think that you can make it on time for the, to complete the survey? No, teacher. No. The, no, the thing is that Gustavo has the, the, the file. Yes. yes. So ah. now we are doing again, again. From, the, from the beginning. So what beginning. you can do in this case is just think up, try to remember some questions and share them in the presentation and tell them that you're going to send them the link uh, tomorrow so you can contact Gustavo and everything and you can send it through the WhatsApp group. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be pending. Okay. Yeah, no worry. That's okay. Okay. Or I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Okay. Very good. Okay. We use. Um... Teacher, we no? ask you to come because we have uh, some questions. Okay. Tell me. Yeah, uh, Rolando, you. Hey, I don't, teacher, I, I, I see the, I saw the page 24 uh -huh. and we have seven steps, but I don't know if we have to follow this step for when we stay in the main group. Uh, oh, I don't know. Oh, I, we have, a, uh, I don't know. I have a confused with which this. steps. Introduction. For and start a question or activity format training escape specific specificity. I know those are some tips to design the questions. Ah, yeah. okay. It's only for that. Those okay. are some tips. Yeah. And then what what will we do with the main group? You are going to present only to present the information, and when just to present the questionnaire and the no organization to present of the, all the information, group. uh huh, all the, all information. the information, yeah, and then you're okay. going to share the link of the forms of the survey the through the chat, so people can complete it. When you say all the information, it is the type of sampling, the type of test, the location, the number of. Uh, Focus groups, uh, the number of participants. Uh, Those uh, are the elements that you have been working on, right? Previously. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. teacher. This is for, for focus group. 
Teacher. This um, is the last part that you're going to present. Sorry. Um, this the question, I need to share it. You will, we just have to copy the link and send it. And send it in the chat, exactly. Um, so people will complete it whenever they have the chance to do it. If they can do it today, um, great. If okay. they can't, they can do it tomorrow. Okay. okay, teacher, thank you so much. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. We, we have uh, identified a specific uh, group, for example, in this, in this case. Uh, they can use the app. Make you use the app. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is everything okay here? Yeah, we already finished. Excellent. Just we're practicing the presentation. Great. See you in a moment. Okay. Delay something. Hello, hello, Stephanie. Hello, hello. Monsieur Mademoiselle. Hello. <laughs> hello. Finito. Stephanie? Um, yeah, we go. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. So I'll see you in the main room in a moment. Okay. The second one, it can be, do you consider yourself gardening expert, gardener, gardening? Gardener. 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 What happened with floor? She disappeared, teacher. It's only magician. Laura, yeah, only uh, Laura and I are doing the survey again. The just survey, again. okay. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. So you just mentioned some of the questions and telling that uh, some of the members of the team are not present and they had the information. So you are going to sh share the link of the survey through the WhatsApp group tomorrow, okay. probably, yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, welcome to the jungle. Now we're going to move on and we're going to check who's here and who's not. Okay, if you are here, raise your hand. If you're not, keep silence. Okay, so we're going to uh, start with Roxana. Roxana, hello. Hello. Yanari, excellent, thank you. Yanari. Okay, maybe she had some internet connection problems, so we'll continue with the next one. Rolando. Hello, hello. Mario. I'm here. Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Okay, uh, we lost contact with Gustavo too. Uh, Juan Jose. I'm here. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Marvin. Present, teacher. Jackie. Present. Laura. Present, teacher. Laura, she's here. Okay. Yes, uh, I'm today I'm here. <laughs> Laura, si está. So, Francisco. Present teacher. Floor. Disappear like Harry Potter. Uh, Diego. I'm here. Diana. Present. Blanca. <coughs> Blanca. I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Mariela and Beatriz. Listen, I'm here. Listen. Teacher, okay, I'm here, Janari. Yes, Janari, I got you in the list. Welcome back. So, um, now it's time to share. So, um, let me check, let me check. So as you already know, right, this is part of the uh, activities that we were missing from yesterday. 
And um, that's part of the focus groups, right? That we have been working on. So uh, that's basically what you did in the breakout rooms. Now it's time for you to present. And uh, I would like to know if there is a volunteer, a team volunteer to start, or uh, or we choose it in a different way. Harvey's smiling a lot. I think mm -hmm. he wants to, his team wants to start. Who's that here? <clears throat> Francisco. Yes, teacher. Okay, so you were in the team number two. Okay, so that's a uh, find your pet, right? Find your pet. Team, I, I, I don't know if you have agree. If you agree, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even if they don't, right? Oh, so, <laughs> it's too late now. Okay. <laughs> It's better to be the first one. Yeah, you can break the ice and then just relax to listen to the rest. Okay, there are pros okay. and cons. So, a show must go on. So let's welcome the first team with a round of applauses. Yay. Yay. Okay, thank you so much. So. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. We're going to talk about or app uh, find your pet first of all we're going to talk about the type of sample that sweet uh, better with our product and that it's the target sample because we need to choose people that can use our app it means that we need people that have already pet that already have pets. So that's because we choose the targeted sample. Okay. Then we going to make focus groups uh, to, to find out uh, and to use the app. And the number of focus groups we're going to make is three. Okay, Francisco, go on. Okay, thank you, Miss. Uh, well, our strategic is focused in three groups. Uh, number one, pet lovers. Number two, owner pets. Uh, number three, people who, who want to make their pet happy. Number one, you say Latin lover. Latin lover. No? Uh, lover pets. Ah, pet lovers. Okay, sorry. I think I oh, didn't sorry. hear well. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding, Francisco. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Kitchen, that one's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I thought about having your best. Uh -huh. uh, the group is. Uh, Maybe to make uh, for 12 participants. Six okay, excellent. Person or six, six people, um, six pets. Mm, or the slogan is. Uh, oh, you have a slogan. Uh, excellent. Yes, a person with a pet, a happy pet. A person with a pet is a happy pet. Yes. Or is a happy person. <laughs> it's a happy person. It's a happy person, right? It's a happy person. Yeah, okay. Oh. Excellent. A person with a pet is a happy person. Okay, <laughs> I like it. It's catchy. I agree okay. with you. Okay. Who's next? Juan Jose. Juan Jose. JJ. Uh, the location uh, where we are going to show the, the app mm -hmm. is in Bicentenary Park. 
Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a big place. Centenario you can Park. show um, how does it, the the app work. Okay. Uh, for example, there are many uh, many trees, uh, and you can show that if your pet lost it, and with the with the app, you can find it easily, quickly. For that, is the location is the best place. Yeah. Okay, I have never or... been to the Bicentenario Park, but I would like I would like to. <laughs> yeah. Miguel? Okay, uh, for the type of test, uh, we will use uh, we use this uh, because uh, we help to identify if when you need um you need a a, a, a up, for example. Uh, and in this case, or up, find your pet is is really interesting. Use this in this case. Mm -hmm. And for the last one, the questionnaire we made it, it contains twelve questions. I already shared it in the chat. Okay. So you can answer the questions. I'm going to read them. The first one is how many pets do you have? Uh, as we were saying uh, in the focus group, we are going to have targeted our, uh, targeted <coughs> participants. So uh, based on that, persons who are going to answer the question mm -hmm. have pets. So how many pets do, 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 you, ha do you have? What kind of pets you have? Cats, dogs, birds, etc. Have you? Uh, the next question is: Have you ever lost a pet? If you answer yes, the last question: Did you find it? Yes, no. Uh, when you walk your pets, do you use leash? Yes, no. Uh, how often do you walk your pet? And do you think up to find your pet is it? is necessary and uh, would you like to have an app that can tell you if the health of your pet is okay yes or not uh what difficulties did you have when you use the app because uh they are going to use the app and they can give us a feedback what do you think is missing in the app like the recommendations for us and about the, the, the price, will you pay $29.99 per year for this app? And the last one, will you recommend our product to your friends and family? And that's the uh, questions of the questionnaire. Okay, is that the end? Uh, yeah, that was the end. Awesome. Okay, a big round of applause for the Find Your Pet team, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so uh, you can answer the survey, right, as we go to the next group. You can, if you have the possibility right to answer it right now if not copy the link or maybe you can send the link to the whatsapp group uh diana so that they can answer it later uh, or tomorrow right so tomorrow we are going to share the results right of the of the survey so you can share with us at the beginning of the session more or less what information you collected from the participants from your focus group Okay, um, let me check it out. So who is the next one? Uh, Diana, you can choose the team. Yeah, the sunshine, I think is the name. Sunshine, yes, that was one, one of, the, of the teams. Sunshine with the succulents and cactus. Who's going to share? Hello, teacher. Sorry, I I had a 
uh, uh, problems with the connection, but I'm going to try. Um, okay. Our company is called Sunshine. We sow, reproduce, and distribute different plants, but, but our strength is cactus and succulent. The type of sample that we choose for you can know our product is a healthy cactus or succulent, succulent baby. So that, okay. that is what we're going to do. A gift, a gift, sorry. And we are going to do two different focus groups. Every, uh, each group is about 10 participants. And we are going to show show our product in two malls, Galeria, Escalón, and Multiplaza. Okay. And uh, oh, ah, we have the survey. <laughs> we we are having some problem with that because one partner is not here. Yeah. But and, and uh, we have the information, right? Yes, mm -hmm. he has all the information, but we are trying. So one of the questions, for example, is do you like plants? Do you consider yourself? Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. We cannot hear you well. Share with this you're, you're having some uh, connection issues, maybe? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, okay, we cannot hear you well, uh, Gustavo, but I already talked to your classmates and, or your teammates, and they told and I told them that you can share the link through the WhatsApp group probably tomorrow, whenever you have it uh, ready. Uh, yeah, you can share the screen, and I think that Beatrice, Laura, and Flora can help you to, to read. Yes. Laura? Laura no. Hola, hola. Yeah, I am here. Would you like to read the questions, please? Yes. Serbi, do you like plants? Do you consider yourself a garden expert, gardener enthusiast, or no gardener? Do you know something about succulents and cactus? Do you consider that succulents are difficult to grow? Would you like to make a small and beautiful garden in your house? This is a, this is an our questions. Okay, excellent. Let me go on. So right now, uh, I think Gustavo will try to share more information from the team. Gustavo, can you share the screen? Um, okay, so we're having some issues because of, of that, right? Connection, uh, some of the team members uh, were working or are not present, so it was more difficult. But uh, that's more or less information they have. I think Gustavo is connecting from another device right now, so let's just wait a couple of seconds. Okay, so some people are already completing the survey about the team one. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, who's going to continue that, please? Okay, we have some questions that we are going to include in our survey. Bite survey and survey and this art. Do you like plants? Maybe the question it can be no or yes. According or with that, yeah, the answer it can be no or yes. According with that, we are going to ask you why don't you why don't like the plants? 
or do you know something about succulents and cactus? And we are going to give that space to choose one, whatever you want. And if the question is no, do you know that we have plants that don't need a space or, or cave or, or needed uh, care? If the question is yes, uh, if the answer is could be yes, um, the question it can be, could you be, could you be able to learn about succulents and cactus? Or you know cactus have a variety of plants? Or would you like to get a plants for gift for a present for someone special? Or would you like to to take care plants for decorated? Or how much money do you pay for plants if you don't have enough money? And those are the questions, teachers. Okay, there you go. So a big round of applause for the team number two, please, Sunshine. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the next one would be, who do you choose? Quaternarium teacher. The Quaternarium Ammonium with Francis. Um, so who's going to start with that presentation, guys? Me, teacher. Okay, Harvin. Okay, hello everyone. Let me introduce a little bit about our product. The name of our company is Procilab. The new product that we are developing is Quaternary Mono with Fragrance. Right now, we have two different, different fragrances for our product, our lemon and lavender. We have different presentation about it. And the principal point of our product is that you, you enjoy the smell while you take care of yourself. And Rolando, uh, Rolando going to speak a little bit more about our product. Okay. Hello. Uh, okay, we talk about. Uh, we continue with the with the the information for for focus groups. The number of focus groups that we will, we will use is three groups. We will um, group by sector, clinic, retail store, and um, supermarket. The number of participants per group, uh, it, will be, it will be 10 person. The location, uh, will be online meeting in Google Meet because it's safe for the participant and more of a cheaper. The, the type of test, they use tests to provide sample of it before the focus group. The number of it and the questionnaire, it will be 10 questions. No, okay. yeah, 10, 10 questions. Jennifer will explain the questionnaire that we will use. The questionnaire. Okay, Jennifer. Hi, good evening, good everyone. Evening. Can you hear me well? Yes. Yes. Because I cannot because it's raining cats and dogs here. So I will try. And this is our link for the question. And actually we did 10 questions. The first one is about what products 
the, do you usually use for cleaning or sanitizing the space or the place where you work? Um, the second one, what do you look in a disinfectant? Price, quality, fragrance, all above. Uh, the number three, how often do you sanitize the place? Once a day, twice a day, three or more. In our organization, we think that if we were in a real focus group, we will explain to the participants how many times a day they should sanitize the place, and it's three or more. Um, the number four, do you know what are the properties and use of quaternary ammonium? Yes, no, or maybe. Um, some of the pro properties about the quaternary ammonium is that it's better but a, than a common desktop because it lasts more and also have better function because can kill virus, bacteria, and fungi. On the number five, on one, on what surface can be used the quaternary ammonia? Walls, bathrooms, furniture, floor, or above? Well, the use is in all these above because doesn't affect any surface or provoke or cause any damage. Diego will help me to read the next question. And thanks for your attention. Nice. Diego. I think we lost Diego. Diego, can you hear us? Diego. Nope. We lost touch with him. So or I don't know somebody else. Mariela. Yeah, maybe Mariela can go on. Hi. Well, Mariela to the rescue. Well, supposedly we, the, the participants do the fire compression test because, well, everybody use the disinfectants um, at once in, the, in our life. But we present the quaternary ammonium because they are better for kill viruses um, or bacteria. And for that reason- and bacteria. Viruses and bacteria. bacteria. Okay, got it. Um, for that reason, in the pandemic, the quaternary ammonia becomes more popular. Yeah. But the uh, this disadvantage is the, that don't have a smell, or maybe the smell is not good for mm -hmm. some people. Then we offer the with fragrance, and then the participants can compare about the the normal quaternary ammonia with any fragrance or the normal disinfectants that they maybe don't kill the virus as well, then the people can, can res, um, respond the question thinking of, of the kind of the product. Okay. Hey teacher, this is our presentation. Yeah, and thank you for pay attention. No, you're welcome. Okay, so round of applauses for Procky Lab team, please. <laughs> okay, so we're ready to go with the last team. I already, I already answered the two surveys. Okay. I'm uh, part of the focus group, so I have 
you can give me a, a sample of your products later. Now we continue with the last but not least uh, group that is pet lovers. Okay, I will start with the presentation. Um, okay. First, the app name is Pet Lover. It's an app to help organize your information. Uh, for this, uh, we have uh, partic as participants Freddy Vladimir, Irma Roxana, Jacqueline Xiomara, Jesse Janari, and me, Roberto Fabio. Uh, for start, um, the type of sample we will use as uh, uh, in the focus group is a targeted sample, and that is people with pets. Because if we ask people, people with no pets, it would be no meaning. <laughs> yeah, it would be uh, The number of focus group, we, we decide to be three. And that, that three will be divided in only one people with only dog, the other one for people with cats, and the last one for people with any other kind of pets. Okay, snakes. The snakes, Alligators, um, elephants, any, pandas, any other kind okay, of pets. Okay, <laughs> the number of participants in each group. Freddy is be... one of those people who that has a lot of exotic pets. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, the number of participants will decide to be 10. And the location we decide to be a pet shelter, a pet shelter because in that place, uh, we could provide the people with more example of uh, records of other pets to try in the app to um, be more to use more more things of the app. The type of test is a use test, and the number of items in the questionnaire. It's here. It's an error because it's eleven. How many <laughs> items? Eleven items. Okay. Eleven right. items. And next will be Freddy's with the questionnaire. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, can you do me a favor, Fabio? Can you make it bigger? Okay. Zoom Thank in. You. Yeah. Questionary. Why do you choose your pet's name? The first one. Second one. What do you like about your pet? Third question. Do you consider to having an app like this one? It's important. Yes or no. Question number four. Why specific features of the app impress you? Question five. What specific features of the apps do you think are not well implemented? Question six. Have you ever seen an app like this one? Yes or no? Question number seven. Do you think the app will help you to be more organized? Yes or no? Question number eight. How was the app useful? Question nine. Will you recommend the app, yes or no? Question number 10, how much do you, how much did this app satisfy your expectations or your needs? Question 11, overall, how satisfied are you with, with the app? One is the lowest, five is the highest. Okay. Uh in the number 10, satisfy as a verb, it's spelled differently. So it's just, you finish F-Y, that's the end, F-Y. So eliminate the I-C-E. Uh -huh. Why? Why? Satisfy, there you go. And Jacqueline is gonna share the, the link for the questionnaire. Okay. And that's <laughs> we cannot hear you, Jackie. Maybe you can disconnect the headphone, the earphones. No, nope, still no possible. Raining cats, dogs, and mice. Okay. Excellent, Jackie. So that would be all. Yes. Pet that lovers. Would be all. 
Okay, so let's give them a round of applause, please. That was straight to the point. And the crowd goes crazy for all the presentations. So thank you so much and congratulations, everybody. So you see, you get the results after you have been working constantly, right, nonstop. At the beginning, you thought that creating the survey was going to be a little bit complicated, but now you see, you already got the survey. Uh, so you're combining technology with English, teamwork, and different, well, business, right? Creating a product and a lot of information to create it. So um, excellent, Jackie already shared the link. I like the background, it's really nice. Okay, there is information at the beginning of the survey. That's really good. Uh, a lot of open-ended questions, so I'm going to answer this later. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to type, so I will do that later. Okay, guys, so um, overall, what is your satisfaction or your opinion, or your perception about this activity that we finished right now? with the presentation of each team. How was the experience for you? Miguel? For me, teacher, it's really interesting because we have different uh, works, new works, for example. For me, it's, it's, it's really interesting. Really? Really what? Sorry? In interesting. Interesting, okay. You, you know different vocabulary. Correct. Okay, so it was interesting because you learned a lot of vocabulary. That is one opinion from Miguel. Thank you. Somebody else? Can you hear me? Oh, yes. No. Ah, okay. Well, um, for me, what's a good experience? Um, because I remember um, having worked with a, in a group uh, in a topic with a topic in English, and anything related with uh, this topic, but it was a good experience. Okay, nice. Work in, work in team, right? Teams, that's right. Team and groups team. are different. Exactly. There's a big okay. difference. That's correct. Thank okay. you. Sure. Now, thank you for the input. Okay, the feedback. Uh, Diego, you raise your hand. Go ahead, please. Sorry, I, I love the connection. But okay, okay. I was interested because uh, we were able to give our different opinion in the group. In the team. In, in the <laughs> team. And learn a little more about uh, new words, uh, new pronunciation. Yep. And, okay. and, that, and that's it. Okay. Thank you so much, Diego. That's true, okay? So I, I noticed that everybody was giving uh, their information, their ideas, right? Their thoughts. So that was really meaningful for me as a teacher, right? Because I observed that you were speaking and at the same time you were um, working together, working together, okay? Anybody else? What is something new that you learned uh, from this activity besides vocabulary besides vocabulary because I know there were a lot of technical words I learned new methods new methods method yeah I don't know I this is the first time that I I know that what is is in Spanish, foda. Yeah. Yeah, but I've never applied in my life. This is the first time that I applied. And it was really interesting. Okay. Yeah. And this is the first the first time that I 
uh, make a team in English. Yeah, I don't know, but but when 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 us when I was uh, uh, made uh, the exercise or the the yeah the activity, I tried to speak. Yeah, and I don't know how can I speak in this form. I don't know. I suppose that is is for for how to finish the the exercise. The pressure, yeah. right? The pressure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's magic, Rolando. It's but magic. I, but I, I speak, 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 speak. And I don't know if my, my partner understood, understood, but I speak, speak, speak. I think they did because you finished the, the work. <laughs> yeah. and, and thanks for the activity. Now, you're welcome. Uh, thank you for taking it seriously, right? Because uh, you might have thought, right? Like, why are we doing this, right? We're not going to be business people, but we never know, right? Um, so in this case, uh, let me just take notes. It was Fabio, Roxana, Freddy's, and Jackie in the team. Okay. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, and congratulations again. I was really impressed in a good way, okay, for the work you did. I know that with more time, you could have done even more, but considering the time that we have, that was outstanding. It was outstanding because you had a final product. So I hope that this was meaningful for you as well, because it's not only practicing English, but also learning something new about a different area, right? We're not business people, uh, but definitely this gives you a, an idea, right? How the world of products and businesses work. So as Rolando said, right? We learn new methods, new testing uh, strategies. So whenever you have a business idea, now you have uh, the information, the necessary information, right? To start analyzing that it's not just, I have an idea, I'm going to create a product and I'm going to offer it online. Now, there are, there are different steps that you need to follow, okay? And you need to do some research, right? For that reason, the questionnaire, the testing, the, the SWOT analysis, everything is important. So uh, we're going to move on. And the, one of the last parts of today's session is, Let me share the screen with you. Okay, so here we have it. It's reading out loud. So as I told you, right, we're going to practice speaking and one of the speaking aspects that are really, really important is our fluency and our pronunciation, okay? So how can we get fluency? By reading aloud, by practicing speaking, by listening to people and trying to imitate or repeat what they say by having conversations with ourselves or with somebody else uh, by singing. So there are many ways in which we can get fluency in English, okay? But reading aloud is one of the best ones because you can, you have the opportunity to read a lot of words and you don't have to think too much about what to say because the text is already there. So we're going to take again the text from the tips, right, for the focus groups and questions. and. This is going to be group work. I'm going to create mini groups. So uh, this time you're going to be only with one or two people to practice reading out loud, okay, these uh, tips. So the idea is that you're going to read everything from you can help your members until a member of the focus group. And then when you finish, your partner can give you some feedback. Like, uh, I think that you mispronounce the word ratings. You say ratings, but it's ratings. Or you say, uh, you said the stress, you say uh, approval, approval, but it's not, it's, I think it's approval. So the stress is in the middle, not at the end. So that kind of feedback, okay? The idea is that you can help each other. And then when you finish and the, your partner gave you the feedback, the, your partner is going to read for you and you can give the feedback okay to him or to her so i'm going to read it just one time for you to pay attention right pay attention to the i mean take notes 
uh, for the words that are a little bit tricky or the, or new for you or difficult to pronounce. If you have questions, you can ask me and then I will send you to the breakout rooms in purse, okay, to practice this uh, text. Here we go. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions that grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Introductions. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Example, their favorite hobbies and interests, what they enjoy focus groups, uh, etc. Um, fun starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the group's creativity flowing. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Format. When choosing focus group questions, be sure to include a mix of multiple choice questions to provide structure and direction and open-ended questions to allow for further exploration and discovery, but not discovery channel. Rating scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to measure different levels of approval. Specificity. No, that would be specificity. Yeah, city, like surf city, but in this, in this case, it's a specificity. Um, it's not a word that we pronounce often. That's why it's kind of tricky for me. Avoid vague open-ended questions that simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning when you ask why at, after a question, right? Um, it can have a negative meaning. So for example, do you like Ferrero? Yes, no, why? Like, why do you like it if it's not good, right? People can have a, a negative impression about the question why after another question. So instead, right, uh, it makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. So for example, uh, do you like programming music? Yes, no. What do you like or what don't you like about that kind of music? So it's going to be better, right, in that way. Closing, closing. Thank the participants for their help and ask if there, if there is anything that could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. In this case, we're going to eliminate, right? Um, there. So you only say, ask if anything could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Okay, questions about pronunciation or vocabulary before you go to the breakout rooms and practice for yourself or by yourself. Yes, no. A specificity. A specificity. No, a specificity. Yeah. Yeah. A I haven't pronounced I hadn't pronounced that word in a long time. Yeah. A specific a specific a specificity. Specificity. Specificity, okay. specificity. That's what I do when I, I have trouble pronouncing a word. I repeat it until I, I say it well without thinking too much. Okay, okay. flowing, flowing, Diana. That's the pronunciation of that one, flowing. Another one, honest, honest. No more? Teacher, approval. Is approval. Approval. Approval, yes. Approval. Okay. Teacher. Hello. Select and uh, appro appropriate. 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 Closing. Closing, Beatrice. Closing with the sound Avoid. Bawe. Okay. Avoid. Avoid, avoid, vague, 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 g, g, vague, uh -huh. vague open-ended questions. Avoid vague open-ended questions. 
Okay, good questions, good questions. Uh, another one that you might be wondering is this one is further, further, okay, further, uh, simply, simply. This one is simply. Ask uh, respondents. Respondents, yeah, respondents. Oh. Yeah, respondents. just like that, respondents. Uh, Respondent. Building, don't forget that is building. Creativity, okay? A lot of people confuse this word and they get confused with this word and they say crea crea creativity, uh, creativity, but it's create, creativity. Okay, creativity and productive. Okay, it's not productive, it's productive. Productive um, does it. I think enable, enable, that's another word, enable. And um, multiple, okay, it's not multiple, it's multiple. So I guess that that will be all, okay? So if there is any other doubt that you have in the breakout rooms, just let me know. So I'm going to recreate the breakout rooms and that will be 10 breakout rooms. So uh, Francisco, you are going to practice with Blanca in the breakout room number one. Uh, number two is going to be, well, three is Beatriz and Diego, Fabio with Janari, Miguel and Rolando. Uh, Mariela and Flor, Freddy's and Jennifer, Diana and Juan Jose, uh, Laura, you're going to practice with Jackie. I don't know if Gustavo, you can speak right now or not. I think not yet. Maybe cool. No, you still have the, the, the connection problem. You hear me now or you hear me? Uh, the audio is cutting, your voice is cutting, so it's, it doesn't sound so clearly. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. You're going to have more chances tomorrow. Um, okay. So I'm going to move. Uh, I'm just missing one person here who has, who has no team. That is Harbin. So I'm going to move Harbin yeah. to the breakout room. Hello? That was a strange sound. Okay, one, two, three, four. Mm. Okay, so Harbin is going to practice with me. Ready, set, and go. Right now you have five minutes. Yeah, five minutes, maximum six. Okay, go to the breaker rooms. Nice. Okay, perfect. Hello, hello. Okay, hello, teacher. So, ready? Yes. Okay, I'm going to share the screen with you. There you go. I will read everything? Yep, everything. Okay. I will start. You can help your members have a more productive session by asking questions to grab their attention and get them to provide more honest and complete responses. Number one, in introduction. introduction. Begin the session with a set of questions that will enable focus group members to get to know each other better. Each other. You can make a connection there. Each know, each, other. know each other, know each other better. Know, yeah. know each other better. E example or, or example uh -huh. their favorite hobbies and interests 
what they enjoy, focus group, etc. Number two, form a starter question or activity. Ask a fun question or do a team building game to get the groups creative flowing. Creativity. Creativity flowing. Creativity flowing, yeah. For example, ask them to think of three words to describe their favorite hobby. Number three, format. When chosen focus group question. When choosing? Be sure. Chosen? Choosing. When chosen? Choosing. Choosing. Uh -huh. When choosing. Okay. When choosing focus group question, be sure to include a mix of multiple chosen questions. Multiple, multiple choice. Multiple. Multiple. Multiple, multiple, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Question. Uh -huh. Multiple choice question to provide a structure and structure. direction and structure. A structure. Yeah, structure. A structure. A structure and direction and open and ending. Ended, yeah. Ended question to allow for future exploration and discovery. Okay. To allow, allow for further exploration. Further. To ex allow for further, further exploration. And discovery, yeah. And discovery, yes. Continue. Number four, rating a scale. Select an appropriate rating scale to, to measure different levels of levels. approval. Level? To measure, measure. To measure different, different levels. 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 Oh. Like, oh, levels. 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 Yeah. Of approval. To measure different levels of approval. Yes. Number five. A specific. <laughs> this is a difficult word. <laughs> specificity. A specificity. Yeah. A boy beige. Vague. A boy vague. Open end question that sampling asks why. The word why. Simply. Simply ask. Simply. More. Simply ask why. Mm -hmm. The word why has a negative meaning. It's made the response and think their first as well was not good. Instead, as a response to provide some specific example of the of what they like or didn't know like about the item in question. The item in question, okay. Number six, one. closing. Thank the participants for their for their help, and ask if there any could be done to improve their experience as a member of the focus group. Improve. Improve. Yeah, improvise improve is the, another word. Improvise yes. is uh, improvisar, but in this case, improve. It's mejorar, to, right? To improve. improve their experience as a member of the focus group. That's okay. correct. Excellent. Okay, okay. Okay. The really number nice. five. Uh -huh. You can repeat the words. Okay. Specificity. Avoid. Specificity. Avoid. Yeah. Vague. Avoid. Vague. vague. What is the mean that word? Vago. Vague. Vago, like um, uh, something that is not very specific. It's vague. Okay. Uh huh. Vague, open-ended questions that simply ask why. The word why has a negative meaning. It makes the respondent think their first answer was not good. Instead, ask respondents to provide some specific examples of what they liked or did not like about the item in question. Okay. Okay, excellent. So I think it's time to call everybody else. I'm just going to give them 30 seconds, just in case. Do you have any other question, Arvin? We have you said seconds. simply. Simply, uh -huh. simply. Simply. Okay. Simply ask. Another word? Let me know. 
I think this is all. Okay, okay. You say so? You say so. Yes, just with that words. Okay, perfect. So I am going to just check some extra words. A specificity. <laughs> that was that was complicated, right? Yes. I never heard that. Yeah, it's not common. It's not common, but yes, it exists. Specificity. Yes, it's a difficult word to say it. Like interesting is a difficult mm -hmm. word. A specificity. Yes. Correct. Okay, so the time is up. We're going to go okay. back to the group session. Hope I know it is. Specificity. Specificity. Sorry? Specificity. Specificity. <laughs> Specificity. <laughs> you, may, you, may say, you better say it fast so people don't identify if you pronounce it well or not. Specificity. Specific. You didn't hear it. You already said it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> so we're going to go on and um, well, something that I I told you last time, guys. Uh, did everybody finish? Did everybody? Uh, well, was everybody able to read the words? Yeah. The, yeah. The, the reading, everything. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So I already have the uh, spelling bee words that we're going to use on Thursday. Oh or we better do it on Friday for the fun Friday, right? Fun mm -hmm. Friday. <laughs> so you have more time to start. Friday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know my people. I know my people. Okay. So uh Friday. I know your work, you're hard working people, and that's something that I recognize and I admire. So yes. Okay, so I consider that aspect. Uh, we're going to go on and as time is over. We achieved the yeah. objective for today. <laughs> I like that emoji. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so I'm going to share the screen. Well, I'm not going to share the screen because we're done. I'm going to take the attendance and I am going to share with you the document through the WhatsApp group so you can study the words. Actually, I can share the screen just to show you quickly what are the 30 words or what the 30 words are. And so you have an idea, right? Uh, I am going to say the word and you're going to spell it. That's the dynamic, okay? Simple as that. Uh, okay, here it is, quickly. Just for your information. In Well, just in case uh, you have doubts, you can ask me tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, but it's just 30 words, as you can see here. Uh, it starts from strength, other words like business analysis, uh, target audience, random, sample, addition, specificity, <laughs> provide, <laughs> yeah. and appropriate. Yes. Appropriate. Uh, appropriate. So appropriate. Specificity. appropriate. So you, don't appropriate. Have to, you don't have to, I mean, you don't have to memorize all the pronunciation, but obviously when I say the word, if you know it, you will remember how to spell it. Okay, so uh, basically that's it. Uh, it's going to be approximately two words each, and that's it. It's to have fun, but at the same time to practice and memorize these words. Um, mm. So I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm going to check who's here and who's not. Uh, Mariela, just confirm if you will be able to stay for the last 10 minutes. 
please? Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. Beatriz, are you still here? I'm here. Okay, Blanca? I'm here. Salvadorian number one BTS fan. Okay, Diana? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Diego? Floor? I'm here, teacher. I'm here. Francisco. I'm here. Okay, excellent, Diego. Thank you. Francisco and Freddy's? Present. Okay, then we have uh, Laura and Jackie. Present, teacher. Nice. Present. Harvin and Jennifer. Present. Teacher, I'm here. Juan Jose okay. and Gustavo. I'm here. Miguel. Alconay is here. Okay. <laughs> Miguel and Fabio. I'm, I'm here. here. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Rolando Gianari. I'm hello, here. hello, hello, hello. Hello, J Lo. Okay, excellent. So we continue. <laughs> That's a phrase that I use. It's not that you're J Lo. Okay. <laughs> so hello, J Lo. Okay. And then we have um Roxana and Roxana, I think that she wrote in the in the WhatsApp group, right? That she lost connection. Okay, now we're going to finish with today's session. Don't forget that tomorrow we finish the week number three. That means that we're going to take the group picture so you can get your favorite outfit, at least your favorite shirt, because we cannot see more about your clothes. So uh and your favorite accessories, you can have a an avocado mask if you want. And that's it, right? So have a good night, everybody. Uh, Avocado no mask. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> and sugar. Good night. Thank everyone. you, Caesar. Okay, Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Take care. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye, Mike. Bye, Orlando. Thank you, teacher. Now you're welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Or bon Janari. Okay. So Miss Wonder. Yeah. You are Mariela Wonder. Yeah, when I in the high school. The, or Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah, the, I used to live with my friend. <laughs> ah, okay, cool. Yeah, it's not yeah. a lot of people have that last name. I had two students with that last name. I think sometimes some people think that my I say a false number, a false name. A false name. Because, uh, Anna, because Anna is a common name and Maravilla is. It's not common, then Ana Maravilla sounds <laughs> right. <laughs> so I am pretty fantastic, all right? <laughs> okay, so yeah, I got, I get it. It's not common, but yeah, I know some people with, well, I know only two people with the Maravilla last name. Okay, so Ana, do you have any questions for me? Any comments? Yes. Any doubts? Yes, um, for the meat term, it's Tomorrow, the last day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, I, mean, I come for the midterm. Yes. We, uh, for the midterm, we already finished with that date. Mm -hmm. It's not 25. By the end. Let, let me check. Let me check. I think it's, yeah, 25th, right? So it's tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's tomorrow. Okay, fine. It's a question that is say a number of customer, the option are or is satisfied with the performance of the new mob. Mm -hmm. Then the subject is a number of customer. Yeah. And customer is in plural, but number is in singular. singular. Uh -huh. But the correct answer is is like singular. In this case, uh, the principal subject is number. It's a number. Uh -huh. It's right. Yeah, you focus more on the um, 
let's say quantifier, right, that we're using. The quantifier in this case is a number. I get confused for the, the example in the book, say a majority and a number takes a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Uh -huh. A number is a subject. Yes, but okay. here say that on, they take a plural. I'm going to go to the question that you're asking me so I can see it better. That would be the midterm. That must be in the unit in the section two, right? Okay, wait a second. Choose the correct one. No, it's not this one. Wait a second. The internet, my internet connection is a little slow. Midterm. Okay, you got just four questions here, and you are working on the, In the part two. Question number five. Part two. Part two. Some of the participants. One of the factors. A number of customers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get confused because in the book said when the, if a majority or an a number take a plural, take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. Then customer is in plural. A number of customers, uh-huh. Okay. But, uh, um, Uh -huh. A majority of number take a plural verb when they are used with a plural noun. So in this case, uh, they are they they say a number of customers. Yeah, a number of customers should be are satisfied. It should be like that. Mm -hmm. A number. So probably there, there's a mistake here. So I'm going to take notes to report that so they can fix it. Wait a second, I have one page just for you. This is a midterm part two. Question five. Okay, so I'm going to send a message tomorrow so they can check it out. But you're right in this case, Anna. It's not singular, it's plural. Because the, the noun that is accompanied there is plural, so it should be like that with a number. If you say one of, then it's singular, right? When you use one of for the first, right? The first, that's another one that we studied. Okay, uh, do, do you have another question? No, teacher. Yes, that this one. Is, yes. Okay, excellent. Now, thank you for asking and for checking that. Thank okay. You, Okay, have a good night, Mariela. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, goodbye.